Hey everybody and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors! This time we're going to be taking on Skyloft on hard mode with Link to obtain the Gold Skulltula. So let's go ahead and select our Hylian Sword because that is what we have to use for this level. And as you can tell I have the 8-bit Wooden Sword selected. I'm going to be using that because, well, you can use any class of the Hylian Sword, like any type of sword. Uh, within the Highland Sword category, so we don't have to use the Knight Sword, even though it shows that icon. And I didn't know that because you know the whole Impa battle in like Hylia, that was really tough. And when I could have just used the Bagoran's knife, which was really strong. But now that I do now know that, thanks to you guys' comments, this will be a lot easier. I'm learning a lot of things from you guys, so that's awesome. Actually, like half of the things I know is because of that. But that's mainly because I don't look at guides or anything. I do everything on my own, so. Uh, I usually get my info from you guys or just from, you know, figuring out on myself and I like that. I just prefer it rather than looking up a guide. To me that seems cheap even though your comments may be ripped off of a guide, I'll still take it. <laughs> Cause that's how I roll. I don't know, regardless I feel better that way. But let's go ahead and get started. Look at how cool this 8-bit sword is. I don't think I actually showed it off in the Let's Play, but you get this. I believe for free, it's just a DLC that they put in uh, once you obtain the Master Sword, I'm pretty sure. I'm not entirely sure when we got it, but I do know I got it on screen after a level while playing uh, Legend Mode. So you guys saw it in my Legend Mode Let's Play, so yeah, but um, this level is really simple. I did not read the, uh, the info, the character info for how to get it, and that's because... I don't need to actually. I jumped into this level earlier and I practiced it to see if the the gold skull toe will appear if I complete the objective with this sword instead of the normal knight's sword and shield. And yeah, it does. So I just had to double check and make sure you guys were right. And since you guys were, that's why I'm jumping into this level confident knowing I will get the uh, gold skull toe once I do said objective. The objective is to defeat Girahim once um once he appears make sure he doesn't retreat or anything because he'll make it to your base then i believe he retreats right after it's nothing really special but fi is now on our team and she's gonna help us make our way to the enemy base and you know we have to beat volga and all of that so basically the second uh Girahim appears we're gonna kill him and that's it that's pretty much all we need to do later on in the level the gold skull will appear i believe after you activate the great fairy fountain as you can tell, I'm spamming the same attack. Please don't get upset. I know a lot of you guys did, but it makes it so much easier. I'll, I'll try for big enemies like generals and bosses not to do this. I don't normally do that on bigger enemies, but look at this. You see, I'm literally like just grazing through everybody by doing that. I know it's annoying and uh, the audio for Link, you know, the that he does like way he screams it might be a little irritating so I'll make sure to have the volume lower than usual in this episode but when I play as Link using the sword I can't help but do that because it's so freaking easy and I'm gonna keep doing that when we're fighting giant hordes but Girahim is going to appear looks like any second uh, once we do see him I'm gonna run straight towards him and defeat him and when we do that we'll be set so fire is transform transporting not transforming uh, the pumpkin soup. When she does that, we'll be sad. Uh, the path is clear for her to head there. So escort Fi. Well, she'll she can escort herself because we killed everybody that would be standing in her way. So we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start running down here though, instead of helping out Fi, and start helping out our base. The so dark forces are planning something, so we're gonna have to start killing them off. This is gonna be really easy to like claim everything without even trying. All right, you know what? I'm gonna stop doing that attack. I'll start showing off different combos. I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see how the combos look with the 8-bit sword, so I'll do that just for you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start running to other hordes of enemies and not use that same attack. I'll do it when I'm in like a rush and only a rush. So yeah, there you go. Let's go ahead and try this one. This is the, uh, I believe, uh, fifth attack, and then you do a strong attack, which is like the combo, and that one allows Link to like run forward, which is really cool. And he just destroys everybody in his path. And now we can make our way to this side of the map. I believe once this is pushed in, the the area to the... Not town center keep, because that's what we're in. Uh, but the academy keep will appear. But oh, okay, Gitterhim is here. 
I think at least he's gonna appear any second, so I'm gonna have to make sure I'm ready for that. And I love doing this attack, actually. Let's go ahead and do this one, though. This is one of my favorites as well. I love all of Link's strong attacks. I can't help but use him so much. Him and Ganondorf are definitely the strongest two within the game, from what I've seen. I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay that way, even when I unlock the upcoming characters and uh, maybe DLC. Who knows? I never really got a chance to actually look at the DLC characters that are coming up, but maybe Sia's gonna be like a freaking beast or something. Who knows? I'm excited to see it, but excited to see Sia. <laughs> yeah, that's not really a pun. Kind of sounded like one, but that rhymed. Hey! Okay, I'm gonna stop. I can be dumb. And I had to kill this guy as soon as I can. Oh, can I actually hit him? One, two. All right, half of the HP is gone, right? Yep. And we're gonna go ahead and spam this uh, great spin attack once we defeat him i don't have to worry about anything else within this level we are pretty much set in stone until we complete it so yeah you just want to make sure you kill Gary him before he makes it to his destination which is around our base and easily you can just stop him in his tracks then corner him like what i did imagine if normal uh enemies could do that to you like they just corner you and don't allow you to like guard or like roll out of it or anything that would be so annoying. It would actually drive me insane. I don't think I'd play this game if if they can be as cheap as I am. But um, that's the same strategy I actually used in Dynasty Warriors, and I never changed it because <laughs> it's just so much easier to do. Because even if they are guarding, you can just keep hitting them until that millisecond they stop guarding for it and then dish out a bunch of damage. I noticed something that's really OP when fighting boss enemies is your spirit focus, which is the magic meter one. Because I believe that actually breaks the uh, guard, like, from enemies and stuff. Especially with, you know, big generals. That makes it so much easier. That's why I believe it's so hard to obtain. The only way you can actually get it to, uh, like, the gauge to go up is by, um, by finding magic bottles and stuff. So, I guess it makes sense. But, let's go ahead and run towards fine. Make sure she is safe. I believe now the Academy Keep Center thing has opened up. Yes, it has. I can see it, you know, this whole thing was blocking. I still can't make out how Skyloft would look that well, like, compared to the original game. There's a lot of similarities, but to scale, like, when you compare the two, I don't think it really matches that much. It still, regardless, it looks so much like it. They even have the same, uh, not oil painting, but, like, water-type paint graphics to it, like, from things far away. It's weird because... This game has gorgeous graphics, and I feel like this was, like, laziness. I know, I'm pretty sure it wasn't, though. Like, I'm sure they wanted to go this route and have, uh, and have this whole place look like this. Like, exactly like Skyward Sword. So, like, look from far away. It has the same weed-type graphics to it, which makes it look bad. It doesn't fit this game, but... It's so similar to Skyward Sword, it's actually ridiculous, so... I understand why they did it, I guess. Um, regardless, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, that's my opinion from, like, looking at this level. But, let's keep going. Regardless, this has one of the best musics within the game. I think this is actually my favorite music within the game, because, yeah, they did a really good job with it. I love all the music in this game. This is just the one that stands out the most, and I, ever since I saw it from the trailer, I just knew that I was going to fall in love with it, and I, you know, I still can't believe how good it is, so... Yeah, but I'm gonna stop fanboying and let's actually get to ending this off because we kind of completed our main objective. Once we actually get the gold skull pillow, we don't have to worry about anything. And okay, so I'm gonna let Fi get beat up just for a little bit because there is a big general guy busting his way through our army. Nobody apparently can stop him, so I will take the honors of stopping him and then we'll be good. So. Yeah, I gotta quickly run all the way over here and see exactly who is that. I'm pretty sure it's like a Lozolfo or something. Oh, it looks like it's just Moblins. There's this big, fat Moblin inching his way to the team. Right, it's time for him to die. Let's go and roll out of this and then start attacking him. I hate how he guards and then he has a stupid spin attack that sucks. Alright, I'm just gonna use my Muso here. Make sure they all perish. There we go. That felt really good. And now I'm gonna spam this attack just a little bit. Because this is gonna, you know, sweep up everybody who is remaining. That's what I love about Link. <laughs> I don't have to focus anything. I just do this. And look, another 10 kills. I didn't even see enemies near me. I just did it. Another 10 kills. And another 8 kills. Yeah, I'm gonna stop counting. But you guys get the point. 
Right, let's go ahead and reclaim the keep that's over there. And once we do, this place will start filling up in blue because I'm sure our knights will actually prevail and defeat the remaining enemies in here. This is claimed. Yes, it is. Okay. I claimed it, but sadly, you know, it was claimed by the Bakublins and Moblins that were swarming around this area. Where is this guy? Okay, there we go. Keep boss has been destroyed, and now it's time to help Fi because I'm pretty sure she's getting beaten up. No, she's not, actually. I looked down at my gamepad and she seems to be doing pretty fine if I do say so myself but yeah you'll, you're gonna find me enjoying the levels that require Link to play as just because he is my maxed out character and has the most weapons so far he actually has the most weapons within the game and he has the weapon with you know the strongest weapon within the game which is actually just the master sword but currently the master sword we do have isn't the strongest you can't really get an upgrade of the master sword it's just that one buff that you can put on the master sword uh makes it really strong and there's a way to get i don't really want to spoil it though i'm sure a lot of you guys know how to do it but i'm not going to mention it until the time comes because we plan on beating this completely so when that time comes which will take a bit but hey we have all these cool weapons to play as and imagine once we get the pull and chain and there's another weapon I don't actually want to mention because I don't think they showed it off in trailers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't, so I'm not going to mention it. Forget it. Hey, look, a lumpy pumpkin. It's here. <laughs> it crashed in. So sad. Look at that. It's just, like, right by us. It hit scallops. It's, lumpy pumpkin was pretty far away from scallops, actually, when you think about it. So I don't know who moved it all the way here and how it got here to begin with, but... Something tragic happened, and I don't think anyone lives there anymore. I really like their pumpkin soup, though. So that kind of sucks that I can't get it anymore, even though this game is in a different, like, complete world, pretty much. So it's not canon, apparently. Though it could be canon, you know? Just scratch Four Swords Adventures, put this right after Twilight Princess, and be like, all the worlds collided for a brief moment, and, uh... You know, they went through time and space, and this happened. But I don't think they want to do that. This whole game, I'm pretty sure, was just to please the fan. It was all fan service. And uh, if you couldn't tell, that's pretty much what it seems like. So, yeah. One of my favorite things, actually, is um, what they did to the characters. And I really hope that in the next Zelda game, the characters will look the way they do and have the same type of design. I really hope Ganon sticks with really long hair. I like it. A lot of people don't, though, which is weird. Well, it's not weird, but because, you know, everyone has their own opinion. I'm just saying I prefer it, at least. But Volga should appear any second. There we go. He's advancing towards the allied base. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure he didn't even leave his keep. I'm just going to knock him back straight up and destroy him. I believe we have to get him to, like, a quarter health. Help, eh. Uh, and then something will happen which is something the great fairy because he's super strong and stuff. And I actually do remember... Uh, when we did this in the Let's Play, I don't even think he was that strong. I think we just did it so we can continue on because you have to trigger the Great Fairy. Oh no, he's doing his Muso. I'm pretty sure that's going to be his Muso once we're able to play as him. Uh, from what I know, he's actually available for the Japanese Wii U. Like, people who own Japanese Hyrule Warriors actually has this DLC already and they can play as him. We're going to be able to play as him real soon. Actually, I don't even know when. I think it's... Huh. I'm, I believe it was this month, but maybe it's not. Alright, so, whatever. If it is this month, I can't wait. I'm going to do a lot of gameplay videos uh, for them, but, uh, I yeah, like I said, I don't exactly know when it does happen. We will see. And the Levius, or Leviath, uh, Levius, I guess, is, uh, is here. At least we heard his voice for, like, a brief moment. I'm going to go ahead and claim this area, the central square so Fi doesn't complain she's advancing towards the fairy fountain which is good but i just want to make sure nothing else bad happens here we're gonna ignore these guys actually let's quickly use our muso while we're leaving as you can tell link does have three bars of the muso gauge i maxed him out he almost has the bag list complete with him which is awesome but um obviously there's gonna be more upgrades and things we can get on him and you know Regardless, it's not that much of an issue because you have so many other characters we have to, like, soup up. Get it soup because the pumpkins... Alright, I don't know. I'm trying to force puns here and it's not really working out. So I'm just going to lay off that and just start killing everything in my path. 
because I can. And oh, you can actually see that small island up there. That is so cool. The, the one where it leads to the cave, I believe, and there's a waterfall coming down it. That is actually so freaking awesome. I never noticed that. They did a really good job with that, but... Uh, let's see. Let's, yeah, let's kill, let's kill these arrow foes. And, uh... Then continue on with this. Once we actually access have access to the Great Fairy, we'll be able to get the Gold Skull Claw. The only problem with this is if you like you might fail it without knowing, and then you have to make it this far to know whether or not the gold skull pro will appear. Uh, because they force you to do it so late. I'm pretty sure though in my let's play I let Gear him uh retreat and like make it to our base and do his whole plot to where I failed the mission. So this is kind of smart how this is one of the objectives, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people also did the same thing. I didn't rate exactly what it told you to do. Um, but it pretty much tells you about that. But there we go. Let's go ahead and skip this cutscene. It has a pretty lame one, actually, sadly, where she just throws a giant pumpkin in the air and Levias just picks it up, eats it, and then somehow he reduces Volga's strength. So there you go. I explained it for you guys. And for those who were curious, a bit explaining it is a lot better. But let's go ahead and wait for the gold skull to appear. It should appear real soon once they're done with their whole dialogue. Alright, defeat Volga and um, alright, the gold skull has appeared. So we can locate it right here where this giant pumpkin is. The music should stop immediately and look at that. It's right there. Let's go ahead and kill it with this attack. Yeah. Now we got this illustration. We can go ahead and advance to Volga and defeat him and finish up this level. So this must have been pretty short. I'm not sure if it was really that short because the progression within this level kind of takes a while, but I mean, shorter to, compared to most episodes, maybe. We're gonna leave Fi to, to do her thing, and we're gonna head straight to Volga, where I believe he's trying to claim one of the keeps, so we're gonna stop him and defeat him. I'm actually gonna use my Spirit Rush and see if that does well. Hey, an allied troops has defeated a Moblin. That's a huge accomplishment. I know it's nothing compared to what we do, but dang, good for him. <laughs> All right. Wow, that looks so lame, the way he does that, but look at that, we break his block and we just hit like crazy. Wonder, oh my god, picking up magic while doing it actually restores some. And it says more rupees under him for some reason. What does that even mean? I have no idea, but he's going to die now. I actually tried to use my Muso there. Alright, there we go. One, two, three, and we broke the gauge. Uh, we didn't do that much damage. I was trying to go all out and reach out so much, but surprisingly, he's he's a lot tankier. I just gotta remember this on hard mode. If this was normal, he would have died from like two hits. And did you? Okay, he got hit by it, but it's like he circled behind me. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and do it one more time. I cannot wait until I play as Volga. Though, look at how badass he looks. He's one of the coolest looking enemies. Um, I really hope he becomes like, I don't know, maybe like Sheik's main villain or something. That would be cool if there's like a plot between him and Sheik. Because he's like, you know, the higher up of the team, I guess. I don't think he has any relations with Ganon. I think he's CL like exclusive. It would be cool if Ganon had him as one of his henchmen. I mean, he used Volvegia to freaking eat Gorons and stuff in Ocarina of Time. So why not use Volga? himself, the human reincarnation or whatever he is of Volvegia yeah, to, to do his dirty work. That'd be cool. I doubt we'll see him in another Zelda game because this is a spin-off, so yeah, it's not really a Zelda game, I guess. But it would be cool regardless. Whatever, this is over. Girahim is upset. We're going to see him again in the next episode when we take on the sealed grounds, but yeah. Take a moment to look at this sword, though. <laughs> So freaking, this shield is a joke. This shield is like literally, I don't know, I like it. I still like it, but whatever, all right. I think the only issue is when you're running, you can see the scarf clip through the giant shield, which is kind of annoying. I mean, they have that in like almost every Zelda game. I'm pretty sure Scarlet Sword and Twilight Princess has Link's uh, cap clipping through his shield when you get the Hylian shield for both games. So yeah, but all right, check that out, my friends. That was badass. <laughs> but that does that. Let's check out what the illustration looked like. And we got ourselves... Oh my... Did everybody really get 20k? 
Looked like I got 20k from one level. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna discard that. And I'm gonna discard that. And there we go. Alright, let's see what we got for Ganon. Ooh, I could use that. So, because it might give us something really good. Actually, we have two of them. This one's stronger, so let's do this. Pick up all these items. Wow, I picked up a lot of material from this. But, we got a piece with Ganon in the center. It's pretty much the exact center piece. Because we have, you know, the one on the top and one on the bottom. But there we go. That does it for this episode, guys. We obtained the gold skull And in the next episode, we're going to be taking out those healed grounds with Link once again. But we're going to be using the fire rod. So thank you all so much for watching. I've been Zelda Master, and I'll see you all in the next one.